Hi folks, welcome to Perf Mentor's Micro Learning Session. In today's video session, we'll be discussing about inbound delivery. What is inbound delivery? What is the business context of inbound delivery? How do we create inbound delivery? What are the key information that inbound delivery will hold? And let's also discuss about the performance testing context of inbound delivery. Before we get into the details, let's try to recap some of the things that we have learned from the previous videos. What is the overall purchasing process and where does this inbound delivery fits in the overall purchasing process? The first step in the purchasing process is the purchase requisition, where if there is a demand for a particular product or material within the company, the store associate will make a request to the buying department within the organization requesting for that particular material. The buying department will approve that request and once the request is approved, a purchase order will be created by the company and sent to the vendor. Okay, so that's nothing but the purchase order. Once this purchase order reaches the vendor, the vendor will evaluate and see if they can fulfill that request. And once they are able to fulfill the request, they will again reach out to the company saying, yes, we can fulfill this request on this giving them the delivery date and what is the mode of transportation, all those details they will send to the vendor through a phone or an email confirmation. And once this confirmation receives the company that's where the inbound delivery will be created the associates in the company will create an inbound delivery based on the information that they got from the vendor right so they will feed all those information in the delivery document and save this document so now let's try to understand the standard definition an inbound delivery is a document that represents a notification of an upcoming delivery of goods from a vendor to the receiving company's premises it triggers and controls the process of receiving materials from the vendor or another plan within the company. So that's the standard definition. Now let's try to understand how this is being created. So this inbound delivery can be created through an SAP GUI or through a Fury application. In Fury, you just have to uh, click on the tile, feed the information and save it. Once that's done, inbound delivery will be created. And on the SAP GUI, you have to enter this T code. You have to remember this T code, VL31N. So the VL31N T code is used for creating the inbound delivery. So once we hit this VL31N, it will pop up a screen where we have to feed all the information and save it. Once that's saved, inbound delivery will be created. So this inbound delivery document will contain two important information, delivery header information and the delivery item information. In the delivery information, it will contain the shipping mode, the how the vendor is going to transfer the goods to the receiving company, whether they are going to use a huge container or a small truck. So the shipping mode they have to they will be mentioning, and the receiving point. The company might be having several uh, warehouses facility, right? If there are more than if there are multiple warehouse facilities, in the inbound delivery document we need to specifically mention the receiving point the receiving whether it's a receiving plant or the receiving um, warehouse right they need to mention that receiving point and it will also contains the delivery date as when the shipment will reach the receiving plant so this three critical information should be there in the delivery header the delivery item will hold the materials the materials that they are going to ship and then the quantity of the materials that they are going to ship so these two information will come under the delivery item and in the performance testing context like we need to understand based on the number of purchase order that are getting created so we also have to simulate the equal number of delivery document as part of the performance test scenario and we need to see how much um, the delivery document idoc processing time takes and if there is a particular throughput that we need to meet we need to make sure like we are able to process all those uh, delivery document within that particular time period and once this inbound delivery is created the next step in the purchasing process is the goods receipt so we'll be discussing about the goods receipt in my next video until then thank you so much and have a happy learning session goodbye